porque está linda, me gusta, porque está bella, me gusta, demasiado bella, me gusta. Ay, mi niña bonita, cosita chula, cosita bonita que yo papá, así como está, así me gusta, me gusta. Ay, me tiene loco, loquito, loco, mamá, no salgas a la calle, solita, porque está bien linda, ven conmigo, mami, porque todo te puede vacilar, mamá. What's up you guys? It's ridiculously hot today. It doesn't look like it. It's one of them soggy ass like hot days. It's so hot today that you know that scene from Ace Ventura when nature calls when Jim Carrey's in that rhino and that fan goes out and he goes warm and it's like he's sweating his ass off. Oh man that's like how hot it feels out today. up that red light so today's topic is one that just came to mind like sporadically not right now but earlier today I was like you know what that'd be something good to share because it's happened to me a lot was bad Craigslist experiences now some of these aren't necessarily that they're bad deals or whatever I got like fucked up shit but um like sketchy stuff you could say There's a sheriff in the fucking parking lot. Now my first experience that I can uh, remember from the top of my dome chrome. So I had this uh, Nissan 300ZX at one time and this was when I was into cars and I was starting to fade out of it and cars it's just like you know it's too expensive to have an actual fast car and shit and then I ended up uh, putting my uh, 300ZX up on Craigslist and some guy some guy hit me up wanting to trade it. Man, I can't wait at this damn red light any longer. And I met the, and I put it up on Craig on Craigslist for I think like 2k. And you always want to set high, you know, on Craigslist, and you want to sell it a little higher than you want to actually get it for it. That way, when people try to jig you down the price, you can just, you know. It, you can accept it because it's really the price you wanted to get because you set it higher. But anyways, I got hit up for a trade. And it was for a, a 1986, yeah, it was the same year as my car. 1986 Toyota pickup. And basically it was a pickup truck used as a maintenance truck on a golf course for 20 years. So the thing was never even out of like second gear. And it was stick shift and only had 75,000 miles on the damn thing. So I thought of the long-term reliability and I was like, damn, I should just do this. So I ended up meeting up with the guy and he test drove my 300ZX. And as soon as he starts test driving it, he starts ripping it through the parking lot and drifting it around the fucking corners. And I was like, take it easy. And I told him to get the fuck out of my car. And I was like, dude, what the fuck are you driving my car like that when you're on a, when you're just test driving the damn thing? And then, like that should made me pissed off because he was some kid. And then I test drove his truck and that thing honestly for a being an 86 that thing ran so damn clean I was so surprised so I was trying to be smart about it and I said you know what my car's got 224,000 miles his has 75,000 and he's a kid that just wants to you know go fast so I ended up trading him and then right as we trade because like when he when when I test drove it it started up and it was all running I said all right, and I test drove it like quite a bit. And right as we trade, I get in the car to go off, I turn the key and the fucking thing doesn't even start. And I was like, whoa, what the fuck? What's this shit? And then 
he goes, oh, you don't know how to jump start a truck? And I'm like, what the fuck? You didn't mention anything about jump starting no truck. And I was so mad at this point because we both signed over the pink slips and I already gave it to him and he gave me his. And basically what this, what happened, I had to jump start it and I took it home and I was pissed off over that on the ride home. I liked the truck, like it drove so clean and nice and ran so nice. But the problem with it was, was all it was was the starter had a bolt missing from the bottom of it, like one little quarter inch uh, bolt. And that's all it was. So basically it was just off grid, so it wasn't starting right. Fireworks! Oh my God, I'm gonna go buy some fireworks right now. Oh, they're not open yet. I forgot to mention, 4th of July is my favorite holiday of the year. The July's pretty sick. So yeah, I, I was pretty happy in the long run because it was just a little starter problem on the truck, so it was no problem. And then, oh, get this, this was the funny part. Not even a week goes by. And and this and before he calls me, he tells me, dude, I smoked some uh, 2000 Civic SI in the, in the 300ZX. I was like, oh, cool. So you could tell he was ringing the thing out. And then a week later, he calls me going, dude, what the fuck's wrong, man? You fucking sold me a fucked up car with a fucked up transmission. So within a week of trading me, that motherfucker blew the transmission out in the fucking 300ZX. Oh man, I felt bad for him, but I knew it was his fault because you know he's probably just driving it like an idiot. And you know, he's a kid, he doesn't know the proper skills and driving right probably, and he just probably fucked it all up. Oh, this is my old neighborhood right here. I grew up in this fucking beautiful area. Can you believe it? These apartments were ghetto as fuck. They sold mad crack, and I'm pretty sure they still do. Look, great move and special, and it's all written in misspelled words. What the fuck? And once again, there's my apartments I grew up in right there. Man. It's amazing what kind of shithole I lived in my whole life, and I actually still live in it. Eh? But it doesn't bother me. It's actually, you know, there's nothing bad about living in areas like this. So we're heading to the downtown area hoping to see some people because I got one of these bad boys. Air horn. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it broke. I'm gonna go hit up Big Five and see if they sell air horns here. I bought that other one at a 99 cent store, so... I guess I got 99 cent store quality air horn. I'm sorry, but we can't allow the helmets in the store. Yeah. Let's see if we can't find anybody in this parking structure right here. I want to rename this mall the Zombie Apocalypse Mall. There's like never anything here. This thing's actually open if you can believe it. This thing ain't even out of business. All right. <laughs> she just wasn't having it. She's like, today ain't your day. All right, let's see if there's anybody else out here. Look at that, doesn't that look like zombies were trying to bust through it? And they caged it down? Right here. What the fuck? Is that a random Lamborghini in the fucking parking lot? That's not even a Lamborghini, what is that? Oh shit, that's a McLaren. 
What the hell are you getting? Are you fucking kidding me? Wonder what kind of McLaren this is. You car enthusiasts will probably know. That is beautiful. Look at that shit. That's a car I can actually respect. That is so beautiful. Bad MP4. His license plate's actually painted on the top, on the front. That's crazy as hell. That is a beautiful ass car. It's even got paddle shifters on it. And the exhaust comes out the trunk looking thing right there. <laughs> Man, that is, ap that is too epic right there, too epic. And just like that, the air horn broke already. And that was $9 well spent right there. Can you believe that? Another bike. Wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I just went back to Big Five and told them that shit doesn't work. And they just gave me my, my nine doll hairs back. <laughs> so I got some free fun use of the air horn. Uh, my baby just sitting here all happy looking. Now, back to the topic at hand. There's another Craigslist experience that kind of comes to mind. One time I bought this flip slide HD camera. And this was at the time when those things like freshly came out. And they were expensive. I think they were like $200 hairs or something like that. And I was on Craigslist and like my old job where I made quite a bit of money and I didn't have a lot of bills, I would literally go Craigslist shopping. That's what I'd call it, Craigslist shopping. Every time I got my paycheck. And I came across uh, one of them HD slide cameras for only $60 hairs. And it was freshly posted and I was wanting one of those anyways. And um, I hit the guy up and I asked him if he could drop it off at my house. And then he goes, he said no at first, and I was like, alright man, thank you. And then he calls back and goes, hey, where do you live at? And then I, I told him, like, not my address, but like right by my house. And, uh, but it was like still, like right by my house. And he shows up, and he's a sketchy ass looking, like, dirty dude. He straight looked like he stole that shit from somebody. And when he handed the camera to me, this is what made me realize he probably stole it. He had fresh scabs on his, not scabs, but fresh like cuts on his knuckles. And they were still bleeding. And like skin was hanging off and shit. It was so gross, like it looked like he just punched somebody in the mouth. And their teeth. Yeah, and then when he handed me the uh, camera. Oh man, I saw that. I was super sketched out. As soon as I saw that, I kind of like instinctively backed away from him. Like, oh shit, what if he just, he could easily just hit me in my face real quick and try to take my money and dip out. And, uh, I mean, he gave me the camera, I gave him 60 doll hairs, the camera worked perfect, and, I mean, we were on our way, but that was sketchy, I thought that guy, that guy was gonna try to rob me or some shit, you know? You never know, man, you never know when it comes to that shit. The truth with the scoot and the goot guy. That's him. Look, you can see me in the window. Ha 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 ha. probably going, what the fuck is this guy calling me for? There's the first McDonald's ever made right there in history. I know what you guys been asking for, an update on the cemetery. See if the headstone's still the same. What the fuck? There's somebody, it looks like there's a body laying underneath it. That's pretty creepy. Hey Mr. Sparky Perla, thanks again for the seat. Thing made the bike look a lot better than having that cut up ass piece of shit seat. I still can't make out if that's a person or just a pile of shit just laying there on the ground. Well the headstone looks like it's unchanged. Still looks like it's in the exact same position. Well guys I hope one day this thing moves. I'd be kind of I'd kind of be excited about it because you know I don't really believe in like I said I don't believe in 
not that I don't believe in God itself, like that I'm not religious, I, I'm not religious, but like I said, what, whatever created all of life in the universe and, and matter in general, just things, like it's weird because if you, you can mind your fuck yourself thinking about everything, you know, but what I believe in, you know, I, I want to say there's a start and an end to everything no matter what it is. But you can't really prove that and it's hard to prove and it's just one of those things that you'll never know. But whatever started the universe, whatever started everything, planets, life form, whatever, that's what I guess I could classify as the word God. Let's go ahead and do today's Moto Vlogger Spotlight. And today's Moto Vlogger Spotlight is a dedicated moto vlogger uploads a lot has a beautiful r6 and his name is yummy r6 and his r6 is yummy indeed here's his commercial guys i hope you enjoyed this commercial if you liked what you saw make sure you hit him up with the subscribe and let him know big rex dirt hit you now some of the cool things that i've got on craigslist like great deals i've gotten um, a blue yeti microphone which is like if you guys know about microphones that's a really nice like the best usb microphone you can buy they're like 150 bucks brand new still to this day and um, I got one of those for 75 doll hairs on Craigslist as well. That was a good deal. And it was in the box with the manual and all, like perfect condition. I've gotten um, an Ibanez RG320 DX guitar and with the case. And the guy was just moving and he needed the money like really bad. And he sold that thing to me for 75 doll hairs. 75 doll hairs. That was one of the best deals I've ever gotten on Craigslist right there. Cause that guitar, like, you could he could have got like 150, 200, like easy, and that would have been a good deal. My GoPro, my GoPro Hero 2 that I'm actually using right now to make my videos. I actually got that from a guy who tests GoPro for the for the company for a living. That's his career. He's a tester. And I had a Nintendo DSi that I, I think paid 80 bucks for it as well on Craigslist. <laughs> and uh, I never even played the thing. I, I, played, I bought the thing and I had the thing. It was for the uh, Pokemon games. I used to play the shit out of the old school Pokemon games. I still do play them. It's fun as fuck. I have them on my phone. And then... Um, I ended up getting, uh, I traded him that DSi that I only paid like 80 bucks for and he gave me this Hero 2. Back when Hero 2s were still the shit, like the main one out and they were still fresh. And then he gave me that thing just for that DSi. And not only that, he hooked me up with all the mounts. I got the chest mount, the head strap mount, all that good shit. It was crazy. Basically, I got my GoPro Hero 2 for only 80 doll hairs. Let's go ahead and get a city look real quick and see how it looks today. It is mu smoggy and mucky as fuck today. It's 
funny, those crows are just sitting there with their mouths open on the on the balcony. Like, ah, it's fucking hot. Hot. Me and my girlfriend come here quite a bit just to like chill and shit and enjoy the view. It's a beautiful place right here. If you guys ever come to San Bernard Ghetto, be sure to come here and check out the beautiful hilltop view. You won't regret it. Take your moto cycle. Take your woman. Enjoy the beautiful ambience of smoggy San Bernardino. I want to take a minute real quick to uh, thank a couple really, really, really generous people. Um, I'm not going to really say your names for privacy reasons, but a couple of you guys donated some donations to my PayPal account. And um, I just wanted to say thank you a lot. That's fucking epic of you to do. I mean, I really, really appreciate it. So. All the all those all those donations that I got, they're all gonna go towards the bike, so they're all gonna be saved up and gonna go towards fairings, oil changes, my tires, um, whatever, you know. So I appreciate that you guys, whoever sent the money, you guys know who you are if you're watching it. Thanks you guys, I just wanted to give you a huge thank you. I really appreciate it. Well guys, that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's photo vlog adventure. If you enjoyed today's video, don't hesitate to hit the out of that like button and you guys have yourselves a fantastic day see you guys later